Hey everybody, welcome to this month's unboxing video. These two boxes arrived today, so I thought I'd open them up and share them with you. And you may notice I'm still working off my kitchen bench. Uh, hopefully my Commodore computer room will be up and running very soon. Now this is very well packed. I can see what it is straight away. Of course it's a Commodore 16. It's in nice condition, pretty standard, but very nice. And here's the serial number. Now this is what I've been looking forward to. This box is so heavy, I can't wait to open it up. You may also notice at the background there's a picture of an owl. I'll tell you a funny or interesting, maybe a sad or tragic story about the owl and also well, actually a whole group of owls. But I'll get into that later on at the end of this video. Okay, so first thing we've got is some sort of board from a Commodore, I imagine. And also this box, actually this whole box is actually very well packaged. I'm very impressed. Okay, so this keeps on coming. Now these are interesting little boxes. And, uh, oh, it's a bit far down. Just, hopefully I won't fall in. There we go. And that's it. Okay, that's the box. Uh, another good thing about having the Commodore computer room, it's going to be my studio as well. Because uh, currently where I'm doing my unboxing videos and my repairs is on our kitchen bench. And I don't know, you might hear trucks going past, you might hear birds chirping outside, which they are doing right now. And uh, so hopefully I'll get this up and running very, very soon. I'm in the last legs right now. Okay, this doesn't look like an anti-static bag at all, so I'm a little bit cautious about pulling this out. Hopefully, yep, that's definitely not anti-static. Uh, that's a C16, Commodore 16 main board. Hopefully all the chips are okay after being in that bag. I have to give it a test later on just to make sure it's okay. That's very cool. We'll get into these bags here first. Wow, it truly amazes me how fast I can unpack things. Okay, so here we have a power supply. Um, not a very good one. It's uh, for plus four. Put that aside. And next. Okay, we've got some manuals. Plus four user manual, and also the integrated software manual for the plus four. Uh, obviously, for the word processor, spreadsheet, uh, file manager, and the graphics program, quite handy. Packed. Okay. Another thing, so it's good. Very well packed. Okay, so there's the RF cord, there's uh, an adapter for the joystick from the um, plus four or, or the actually or the C16. So you've got the little connections here. Then you can use your more Commodore 64 joysticks here. Handy. Okay, so we've got a uh, Commodore 16 games book. So it should be code, I imagine. Yep. And Working with the Commodore 64 as well. So, more properly. Next one. That's obviously the good stuff. Okay, the Commodore Plus 4 software manual and the Commodore 16 user manual. It's handy because I've got a Commodore 16. And uh, it looks like it's basically a software manual. And user manual. Oh. Yeah, pretty much the same thing by the looks of it. Just the soft bound and the spiral bound versions. All right. Now, just standing on the stuff for a second. Okay. Here comes the interesting boxes. Okay, 
first thing out of the box is uh, Commodore 16 plus 4 So I'm not too sure what those are yet, but I'll check them out later on okay. Here's the 1531 data set for the Commodore 16 or plus 4 and oops, sure enough, there it is it's in really good condition. I do already have one of these, but it's in really poor condition, so I'm actually quite glad I've got this one here. Uh, what help if I actually turn it the right way? I don't know if you can see that. Any ideas what this might be? Ooh. Games, I love getting games. What have we got? Oh, the plus, no, Commodore 16 game, 12% of it. We've got the first one. It's got Green Beret, Yi Ya Kung Fu, Hyper Sports, and Ping Pong. Four great games, which is Battlestar. Lunar Docking, Future Shock, and Kek, no, Ek Ek. I've actually not heard of any of those games before, so there you go, that's cool. 16. And, which way does this go? Right. Uh, Pro Project Nova with Winter Sports. I do love the sporting events uh, game packages like this. And again for the C16 Plus 4. International Karate, a very cool game. It's got some screenshots in the back here. It doesn't look too bad on the C16 actually, even though it's got uh, limited graphics. It doesn't look too bad. C16 Classics, Arcs, Dilemma, I think. Uh, Pedals of Doom, Zargon Wars, and Tycoon Tex. Ah, Aliens. This is a C16 version. I don't actually have any Commodore 16 software for my collection, mainly just Commodore 64, so this is pretty cool. Okay, what else have we got? Harbor Attack, Stellar Wars and Blitz, Mayhem. This is all very well packed. Battlestar, Scooby Doo, and what else we got? More games. And Harbor Attack. Oh, more. Okay, so some of these are actually for the C16 and some of them are for the plus 4. Uh, okay, cool. Because uh, this one here is for the plus 4. This is Treasure Island. I wonder if that's like the, uh, the game on the 64. That's actually quite a good game. Sorry, I had to pee. There is a Commodore in here. Okay, it's got Power Powerball. Again, these are all by the looks of it for the C16 Plus 4. Oh, Powerball again. Rockman. Rockman again. Return of Rockman, Gun Law, Gun Law, 
master chest and chemistry O level. Ah. Flight path 737. Commando. Actually, I'd be interested to see what Commando looks like on the C16. I love this, I love that game on the Commodore 64. Prospector Pete. World Cup. Quest Probe featuring the Hulk. Harvey Headbanger. So we've got Flight Path 737. Yeah, I thought I got to saw that before. We've got Fingers Malone. Airwolf. Uh, funny enough, last time I did an unboxing video here in my kitchen, um, it started, a storm started, and I've got the exact same thing starting up again today. It doesn't always rain here, but I am filming this during winter, so. Hmm. Finders Keepers. More Adventures of Big Mac. Tower of Evil, which I think I saw in there before. Oh, um, Oblig to go? Oblig, Oblig, no. I have no idea. Okay, comma 1664. No, comma 16 plus 4. And mole. Oh, molecule. Your molecule man. Bomb jack. Yeah, yeah for the C16. Torpedo alley. <laughs> Spiky Harold. I'll tell you what, there's, uh, it doesn't matter how many times you get games, you always find ones you've never heard of before. Oh, another bomb jack again. Like an encore version sort of thing. One man and his droid. I'll have to check it out though. Sword of Destiny. Rig Attack. Into the Deep. Sounds like me. Mr. Puniverse. Beachhead. Good game. Dingbat. Uh, okay, it's a compilation tape. It's um, Disaster Blaster, Laser, L A Z A, Pac Mania, and Olympic Skier. Ace, of course, a very good flight simulator game. Haven't played it myself, but I've heard a lot of good reviews about this game. Bandits at zero. <laughs> Fingers Malone again. Whoa. Vegas jackpot. Not centipede, but spectipede. I assume it's like a clone. Space Escort, Torpedo Alley, Apollo Rescue, Shark, Shoot It, <laughs> Roller Kong, looks like a Donkey Kong clone, and Prospector, Prospector Pete. Has, but I think it's actually three games. For the, uh, three games for the price of one. Yeah, Panzer, du Panzer Duel, Trizons, and I assume the third game is Taz. Bubble Trouble, Bubble Trouble, Molecule Man again, and Cruncher, looks like a Pac Man clone. Kane. Ugh, I think it's uh, Zadium, X A D I U M, Storm, Kickstart, good game, Formula One Simulator, 2D Fruity, Bandits at Zero, again, Varmit. Sea strike. Cool. That's. Thanks. Yep.
So that's all the games, all for the Commodore 16 and the Plus 4. Now, we already unboxed a Commodore 16. Very cool, let's check it out. And well, it's pretty obvious what this is. Let's make sure there's nothing else in here. And that's the plus four. Serial number is 220504. It's in very nice condition. I'll have to fire it, fire it up later on. Oh, well, that's the very quick unboxing video. Um, hopefully you enjoyed seeing what goodies turned up today. My goal, of course, as I mentioned, is to have the Commodore Computer Museum here in New Zealand and having a, a collection of every item for the museum is obviously a bonus and this is the first time I've received uh, Commodore 16 and plus 4 games. I've already got a Commodore 16 and a plus 4 uh, from previous unboxing videos. Uh, what, I, what I do, in case, in case you're wondering if I get double ups, what I do is I uh, keep the best one of course for my museum displays and then the other ones I recap and then sell so that I can actually fund um, my museum project and also my documentary project as well. In case you're wondering if I get double ups, that's what happens. It's to help fund, I sell them to help fund my Commodore computer projects. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.